Today, Senator Tina Smith returns home to take part in the third annual Juneteenth celebration in St. Paul. The Rondo Center of Diverse Expression is hosting the event with a theme of dignity of work. Senator Smith led the 2021 bill to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. Yeah, that's just one of several celebrations happening across the Twin Cities today. Our Saquon joins us now live from Minneapolis where you can join the celebration at an event kicking off in just a couple hours. Say good morning. Hey guys, good morning to you. Yes, there are so many fun things happening here in Minneapolis today, but first we want to touch a little bit on the history of Juneteenth. Of course, this marks the day in 1865 when enslaved people in Galveston, Texas found out they were freed. And while Juneteenth has only been recognized as a federal holiday since 2021, this holiday has been so sacred to so many black communities for more than a decade. And today you have the chance to take part in all of these Juneteenth festivities and learn a little bit more about what this day is all about and why why it is so important. So we know several, uh, you know, towns and communities held uh, some Juneteenth celebrations over the weekend. That would include St. Louis Park. We saw some celebrations there. Uh, but the Juneteenth Festival here in Minneapolis are going to kick things off with the parade at 10 o'clock this morning on West Broadway. It's going to start on Emerson and then end on Lindell Avenue South. And there are several events planned here throughout the day. That includes a rally, panel discussions, music and food. We know U.S. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar will also be here speaking during a gun control and safety public forum at 2 this afternoon. For a full list of events and times, you can go onto this website here. It's JuneteenthMinnesota.com. And with today being a federal holiday, of course, that means federal offices like the post office and most banks are closed. Some businesses are closed today as well, but most major retailers like Walmart and Target, as well as some restaurants, should be operating as normal. Um, so because it is now also a state holiday here in Minnesota, public schools will also be closed, including any events, athletic programs. This could include summer school, daycare. So make sure you are checking those websites for the holiday hours. As you can see, I am sporting a very cool jacket here. It's full of colors. It's patchwork, and this is actually handmade from Ghana. It's from Batakali Fashion Design, and I was just speaking with the owner, Rosa Mensa, and she was saying that this is a really popular uh, design or pattern that people like to wear in Ghana. So I thought I'd do my part and sport it a little bit, but of course, Come on out here for a good time. There are so many cool clothes, so many cool vendors that you can check out, and that's going to be going on from 10 to 6 tonight. Guys? Yeah.